Hey guys, I know it's been almost, oh, I know it's been just about a week since I uploaded last. I'm very sorry. I was doing a couple of things. I was spending time with the wife. I was rebuilding an engine. I'll show you a picture of that right now. All right, so as you guys can see, we have this rebuilt. It is looking good. It rotates just fine. So yeah, it is getting there. So what we got to do next, we are taking off this flywheel. It is seriously stuck on there. We're to use, just about to use the Hilti grinder. Take that out because we need this right here. So we need to get this off, get this housing off. And so, yeah, it's getting there though. And I was uh, working on the wave runner and I went to Wisconsin a couple of times. My uh, visited family and also my friend and I bought a brand new wave runner together. We got a 2021 SeaDoo GTISE. That it's a fantastic wave runner. I love going on it. And so, yeah, so now we have the boat and hopefully two wave runners this summer. But today's video is gonna be, is gonna be about these 12 volt screwdrivers. All right, these, this is my absolute favorite uh, category of tool. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through the model numbers of these really quick, you guys, and uh, we'll, I'll show you what these can do because I seriously want you guys to pick up these tools that are perfect for DIYing. All right, for, for the Hilti, this is model number SFD2A12. This goes to the two speed settings, uh, speed one, 400 RPM, and on speed two, 1600 RPM with a variable trigger. And so, yeah. This one, I believe, is $89 on the Home Depot and Hilti website. Tool only. Batteries are actually cheap for 12, uh, Hilti 12-volt 12 tools. I like that. $50 for a 4-amp-hour battery, $36 for a 2.6-amp-hour battery. And the 4-amp-hour battery has 21,700 cells. This is the DeWalt screwdriver. This one's variable trigger only. This model number DCF601, uh, 1,100 RPM. Try LED beam on the front, and I'm sorry, the Hilti has two LED beams on the base. And so, yeah, this, uh, yeah, this is the DeWalt. The new 5 amp hour battery is awesome. I love it. It actually makes the tool powerful, and yeah, that DeWalt did a great job with that 5 amp hour for their extreme line. All right, and this is the Makita. Unfortunately, you cannot get this Makita in the U.S. You, I, I had to switch my Amazon account to be uh, located in the UK, then I was able to get this. They also make a version of this in Japan. It's, uh, it's all black. And so, yeah, this is model number D uh, DF032D, two speed settings. First speed, 450 RPM, and on speed two, 1500 RPM. And a single LED underneath the clutch. Four amp hour battery, battery is full. So yeah, it's good. It, 12 volt tools need a higher amp hour battery. It, it majorly helps the tool out. All right, so first I'm gonna show you guys the DeWalt. We're gonna do, on this, we're just gonna do a couple, or we're gonna do one eight inch, uh, one six inch specs. We are gonna do regular screws, but I figured I'd show you the good stuff first. All right, so we have it on max. Remember, variable trigger only. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so next let's do the Hilti. Hilti might require speed one, but we will see. That is one benefit of the variable trigger. All right, so, oh, sorry, battery is full. Battery is full on the DeWalt as well. Right here is good. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so let's do the Makita. Let's see how that does. Uh, we do are going to speed two. Battery is full on the Makita. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, sorry. That was my bad. Time. Take the waltz out. Ready? Ready? Go. Time. Let's do the Hilti. All right, ready? Go. 
Wow. Time. Let's do the Makita. Ready? Go. Time. Now let's step it up a little notch. Let's see on how well these actually do with an eight inch timber lock, right? We'll do these ones right here. Ready? Go. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I think they're all going to fail this. DeWalt did it. Uh, DeWalt did it last time. Let's, get, let's see if it could finish. Yes, it can. I have a feeling uh, they all are going to stop on this. I'll be surprised if uh, one of them doesn't. All right, so ready? Go. Yep. Speed two is too. Uh, speed two is too fast. Speed two is too fast. Let's continue. Yep. Speed two. Uh, this uh, this doesn't fail. This is not really a versus video. I have a feeling Makita might fail as well. All right, let's continue. Time. Let's just see how Makita does. It's on speed two. I'll be surprised if this could do it. I will be surprised if it can do it. Right there is good. All right, ready? Go. Yep. Yep, a speed two is uh, speed two is too much. So it's nice to have speed one. All right, let's continue. Darn good for 12 volt tools, you guys. They're able to drive in eight inch timber locks. These would do most things you need to do around the house. So these, that's why these are perfect DIY tools because they're very powerful. They're compact. They're 12 volt tools. They're not really that expensive. And so, yeah, so let's uh, take out, let's take out DeWalt's, ready, go. Time. Take out Hilti's. I want to see if Hilti could do it on speed too. I doubt it, but it might. Ready, go. Yes, it can. Oh, I was hoping. Time. Now, like I said, I'm not failing these. I'm not failing any of these tools for these tasks. Let's see if uh, Makita could take it out on speed too. Ready? Go. Oh. All right. Speed one is required. Ready? Go. I don't know what that was about. Time. All right, so let's actually uh, go to the four by six and do some three inch screws. As you can see, we have a four by six right here. And each of them, each brand does make their own special sort of a bit holder, if you will. I particularly love Hilti's the best because other companies do make this as well, but Hilti actually has a, a collet for the bit. So it'll, it'll if it gets stuck somewhere, it, it won't come out. So I like that, I like that. All right, so let's do one, one inch screw each. This isn't gonna be timed. Oh, that would be ridic ridiculous. Gotta love that. Holds it in place for you, see? Gotta love that. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, let's, uh, let's very quickly, let's try the clutch on three. Let's see if it stops. I'm curious. Maybe two. Nope. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nope. It's not flush. So seven. Seven is flush. Let's see. Yep, seven is flush. All right, so this is a two inch screw. Let's put this back to max. Bam. Here is a three inch screw. 
Bam. Here is a three and a half inch screw. Let's see how well this does. Ready? Yep. Ready? Go. Did it. Now let's take them all out. Oh. There we go. And there you go, that's that. All right, yeah, yeah, this, this is a four inch screw. Let's just do one more, we'll do Hilti. You guys get it. Let's do uh, the three and a half inch screw. Bam. This is on drill. Bam. Let's try seven. Yep, seven is flush. Seven is flush, look at that. So yeah, that's perfectly flush. Now let's take it out. Beautiful. All right, but as you guys can see that this, these tools are actually fantastic to own and use. Now they're, they're very small, they're lightweight, 12 volt tools that have a lot of power, that have enough power, you know, and so that's why the screw, the 12 volt screwdriver is my favorite uh, category of tools. Now, uh, I, I'm not a big fan, I'm not too big of a fan for impacts because uh, it, it's just, you, you don't have, I just feel like you don't have that much control because sometimes it'll just go in extremely fast. Sometimes there'll be some resistance, you know, and you, you could strip the screw head or like, you know, it's, or, or break it or break whatever you're bolting down. Uh, that's why I like having the 12 volt screwdrivers because you can, it has a clutch setting to where it will not do that. You know, and if it has speed one, speed two, or variable trigger, you know, they're, they're very useful tools. And I, this is my go-to. I use this for everything that I can. If I need something a little bit more powerful, of course, I grab a regular uh, drill. But this is my go-to that I do most stuff around the house. So that is why I, I do need to get the, I still need to get the Milwaukee Fuel. Uh, I still need to get the M12 Milwaukee fuel screwdriver and a few others. I want to get the black version of this that, that uh, is from Japan. And so, yeah, so this is my absolute favorite line of tools. And I highly, highly recommend you guys get screwdrivers, 12-volt uh, screwdrivers. Bosch makes a uh, brushless 12-volt screwdriver as well. You know, Hilti has another version to where it's the multi-tool, uh, you know, like the multi-head uh, drill and so yeah so it's fan th these are my favorite tools so yeah so that's pretty much it i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time